usually like to start out um, just hitting a couple of gap wedges to kind of get the get the blood flowing. Left handed. Left handed. Unbelievable. It's a gap wedge. <laughs> Typically fills the gap between seven iron and a five iron. <laughs> I'm actually not left-handed, but I'm dealing with a bit of a shoulder injury, so I decided I'd just do the whole show left-handed for you. Somebody hit a driver for you? Felt a gust of wind, so I decided I'd play a little fade on purpose. Try another one. Not too shabby. These are going about 350 yards if you weren't, if you can't see it, just ask me. If you can't see it, I'll just, I'll just let you know where it goes. So it's going a little bit of a fade, right? So I'll teach you how to understand the difference between a draw and a fade. So things typically fade away from you, right? So if I'm standing on this side of the golf ball, and the golf ball moves to the left away from me, it's fading, and you draw things toward you. So if I'm standing on this side and the golf ball moves toward me, it's a draw. There you go. So if I'm a lefty and it goes this way, it fades away. So typically, I like to hit a straight ball. So what I do is I stand on this side and give it a rip. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody got the low left shot in the bag? So I did that just to make you feel comfortable. You're welcome. All right, so now let's see if we can move it back the other direction, a little fade. There we go. Not too shabby.